Hello, I am Dr. Vijay Aroda. I am Senior Director of Internal Medicine at Max Super Specialty Hospital, Parpaganj. We are here for a small review on dengue fever, which is a tropical fever and happens in all over the world, mostly in the uh, Indian subcontinent. And this is the fever which happens because of the bite of uh, Aedes aegypti mosquito. This is the mosquito which usually does not fly very high, not more than four feet from the ground level and mostly it bites on the lower limbs and sometimes on the elbow and the wrist. And with this bite, uh, the mosquito uh, sends virus to the body and there are four types of viruses which are there because of the dengue. They are then one, two, three and four. And you can have fever with any of the viruses and all depends on the type of virus you have. And the severity of illness also decides about the type of virus. Type 2 and 4, they are very serious type of uh, viruses which usually happens. If you contract dengue fever once, that does not mean that you are immune to that particular fever. You can have fever again by the different species of the virus. And how this dengue fever goes is present usually for 3 to 7 days and it is associated with high grade fever ranging between 102 to 105 which usually associated with rigors and chills, generalized body aches and pains, severe headache, nausea, lower backache, and lot many other symptoms, sometimes like abdominal pain, few times with loose motions and other presentations. Sometimes it is difficult to differentiate between malaria and dengue because those, both the fevers are because of the bite of the mosquito and usually having high grade fever. In dengue, the fever is almost continuous in whereas in malaria it is intermittent fever and there are different geographical variation in both the fevers you find that malaria is around 270 million people are having malaria all over the world and the mortality is around 6 lakh 70 thousand people die every year so mortality with malaria is around 0.3 percent whereas in dengue around 400 million people have dengue every year and only 40,000 die every year, whereas the mortality is 0.03% with dengue. So dengue is a mild type of illness, but if it is diagnosed early, if it's not diagnosed early, this can prove dangerous as like other illness like malaria. Dengue fever, as I told you, is spread by the dengue virus, and dengue viruses are of four types, dengue 1, 2, 3, and 4 and the different species of the virus have different severity of illness and dengue fever has different presentation like simple dengue fever which usually have presentation of fever and nothing else patient becomes all right within three to five days and no other complication is there another is the dengue hemorrhagic fever where you have a lower a lowering of the platelet counts and lowering of the blood pressure but the seriousness is not very high and it all depends on dengue hemorrhagic fever type 1, 2, 3. And lastly, it is the dengue, hemorrhage, uh, dengue shock syndrome where within 48 hours of the on onset of the illness, patient develops low BP, bleeding from different sides. And this is the most dangerous type of dengue fever where mortality is very high if not treated in time. Dengue fever has, uh, the main presentation is fever associated with severe headache, body ache, lower backache, nausea, vomiting, loose motions, and restlessness. These are the common presentations, but the patient may have uh, excessive sweating or lo with lowering of the blood pressure, may have giddiness or dizziness, and may have history of fall. The diagnostic modality of the dengue fever are the blood tests, which usually done in, by three methods. One is uh, dengue serology test, Another is dengue NS1 antigen test. And third, which is a little costlier one, it is dengue PCR. So dengue PCR is 100% confirmatory test as with the dengue NS1 antigen. And sometimes the dengue serology has two parts, IgM and IgG type. IgG denotes that patient has fever previously also, and IgM tells that patient has developed recent temperature. If you have a fever which you find that it is a dengue fever, then it is very, very important to act as early as possible. 
because if we do not act in time then we might lose or will end up with more and more complications the first three days it is only the fever which matters a lot and if the fever is there and only thing you need to require is uh, antipyretic drugs like paracetamol you may have to take six hourly but not more than four gram in 24 hours second is uh, cold sponging uh, with the tap water third is have plenty of fluids orally because if you maintain the hydration properly you will not have further complication most of the patient become all right after fifth, fifth to sixth day but this is the time where uh, you feel that I'm all right and there's no fever but if you have a severity of illness then you may have multiple rashes all over the body pinpoint rashes and secondly you may have the fall in the temperature restlessness palpitation and ghabrahat these are the things which usually present in patients on fifth to seventh day of the patient this is the most crucial period of the illness where you are bound to develop complication if not treated in time the only way to prevent uh, dengue fever is avoiding the mosquito bite so when we know that this is the time between uh, july to september where most of the mosquito bites are there we need to wear full clothes including the socks and especially the lower one we need to be more careful as uh, the Aedes aegypti mos uh, mosquito does not fly very high and they always bite on the lower parts so we need to be more careful my message the take home message uh, to the people are that we should prevent this illness we should not develop this illness wear full sleeves clothes do not allow water to get uh, accumulated especially in the plants and the nearby poles see that these the empty tires are not filled with the water of uh, rain and we have to be more uh, careful by changing the water uh, every two to three days the, uh, the only way we can prevent is uh, by vaccine the children and elderly people are more prone to develop the complication of uh, dengue fever so we should uh, save these uh, group of people and by avoiding the bite of the mosquito and by wearing full clothes thank you very much